Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ash and Leather and I have a really incredible wallet to show you today. This one has been run over maybe a hundred times uh, in the middle of the night. And a customer sent this wallet back to us to get it repolished and I think it's looking better than ever. This is a marbled black shell cordovan fat herbie and this particular piece of marbled shell just has incredible color range to it. You can see it ranges from that orangey tan to a little bit green, a little bit darker on certain areas of the top of this wallet. And on the inside too, I really like the look of these card holders, but the thing that's standing out to me most that I haven't really seen before is this texture. And again, this is probably from a car tire or something like that and you can see maybe little bits of the asphalt that have been impressed into the leather so here's the letter that we received it says thank you for agreeing to try and fix my wallet as mentioned in my email it was stolen tossed on a busy road and probably run over more than a hundred times overnight i've tried to restore the luster and while it certainly looks better i'm hopeful that you'll be able to improve upon my efforts and the customer actually did a pretty nice job polishing this one up the only thing that we noticed about this particular polish job is maybe it was just a little too much polish was put onto this particular piece of leather sometimes when you put a little too much polish on it makes the leather get a little bit more cloudy and waxy looking so by brushing it or wiping off some of that excess polish it really helps to restore the luster back to a little bit more of a natural look but i just absolutely love this texture that has been pressed into the leather so the thing that's striking me about this wallet is how awesome it looks but my brother keeps mentioning to me this is a pretty good selling point for us to talk about how durable this leather and our construction is. The Shell Cordovan is a particularly durable leather. It tends to retain this look or you should be able to restore it to this shiny bright luster uh, forever. No matter how much you beat it up or run it over with your car, you should be able to get a nice bright shiny luster out of it. The other thing I'm noticing about this leather is all that bits of texture. That's staying in there and that's because the Shell Cordovan leather is a vegetable tan leather, especially when you introduce moisture to veg tan leathers, they tend to hold their shape, especially once it's dried out. So I don't think these marks are ever going to go away, but it certainly has a nice bright shiny luster. I just really like this idea of the two different textures, the texture of the road and the texture of this marbled shell combining together, I think it's a great look. And while I have you here, I wanted to show you some marbled shell cordovan that we've got in the shop right now. This is a piece of marbled black shell cordovan, and I have two different pieces of marbled black to show you because the color does range quite a bit. And this particular piece of marbled black shell here is a little bit more red, a little bit more orangey and tan than some of the other marbled black shells. More often, we tend to see the marbled black shell with this sort of color range to it. A little bit is a greenish, and it ranges down to more of this more yellowy orange as opposed to the reddish orange. And this here is a piece of marbled blue shell cordovan. And for me, the marble blue is actually pretty similar to some of the marbled black shell cordovan. Though you can see there's more of these aqua blue, sort of greenish blue tones to it, especially in the left side here. But it does tend to range down more towards those natural shell cordovan colors, a little bit more of an orangey tan. And one last really special piece of marbled shell cordovan. This is marbled ultraviolet shell cordovan super interesting how these marble ultraviolet shells come out it's almost like a pinkish tan and it does range a little bit more purple in the corner here that you might be able to see right on the edge the lighter tones in the marbled ultraviolet are still close to the natural shell cordovan but in the marbled ultraviolet obviously you get a little bit more purple a little bit more pink and all the colors in between and while i'm sad to see that this <laughs> this wallet got run over a hundred times it was kind of awesome for me to be able to see this one in person again. I just really love how this one has been sort of beaten up. It's almost like a stonewashed look now. And this is definitely a unique wallet and now has an incredible story. So thanks for checking out the video today. If you have any questions about anything, definitely let me know. And until next time, I hope you have a good one.